Okay guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the benefits and doing an overview of using UVB lighting with your reptile. So let's get straight into the video. So before I get into talking about UVB and why it's good, I think it's very important for me to go over some common myths in the hobby because lots of people um, believe things about UVB that just isn't right. So the first myth I'm going to be talking about is that it's bad for nocturnal reptiles. Well, the theory here is that nocturnal animals are awake at night when it's dark and asleep in the day, so therefore they don't come into contact with light and so having UVB lighting on is going to hurt their eyes. Once this does make sense at first, as soon as you start thinking about it, it just doesn't. The sun still rises of the morning and nocturnal animals, yeah, they're asleep, but that doesn't mean they're never going to wake up throughout the day and experience the sunlight. And yeah, they can hide away from it, but if you have your setup correct, then they should be able to do that in a vivarium. It's also good for nocturnal reptiles because it provides a day-night cycle. I mean, imagine a person if you were to try going to sleep with the light on. It's literally the same for nocturnal animals, just reversed. Another more serious myth that has somehow got about is that um, UVB lighting can cause eye issues and can even cause cancer. Well, that is actually true but not if you use it correctly. Because in the wild, um, all animals are evolved to cope with a certain um, intensity of lighting. If you were to give an animal an intensity of lighting that is greater than it would naturally experience, then yet you can cause cancer. And if you do install the lights incorrectly, for example, at the side of a viv, where the animal can commonly come up and look at it, from the side and the light's shining right in their eyes, then yeah, you could cause eye issues. But again, if it's installed correctly from above, then most reptiles have eye ridges of some sort that protects them. And honestly, when it's from above, they're very good at sort of sensing where to go. So the final myth I'll talk about is, isn't such a bad one, but it's people seem to think that there's a certain rating of UVB light bulb that is suitable for a species, say, like a bearded dragon, people might say that needs a 10%, and um, you might say a crested gecko needs a 2%. Well, that too is completely false. The rating that you want to go for really does depend on the viv. So, for example, the UVB light you're looking at right there, this is on my crested gecko's enclosure. The enclosure is 45 centimetres long, 45 centimetres deep and 60 centimetres tall and it has a mesh top. So whilst the crested gecko may only need very low exposure, I've actually got a 10% bulb. This is because the mesh will roughly half the output of the bulb. So it's 10% so that means only about 5% is getting through. And you may still think that's a bit high but um, UVB lighting, it sort of loses its potency over distance and as this is a 60 centimetre tall vivarium that means that towards the bottom the output is going to be very very low whereas towards the top it's going to be quite high. Now as crested geckos are arboreal, meaning they can climb very well, um, the crested gecko can go up and down the viv to choose their own exposure and that is completely natural and so it sort of just tells you that the rating you need to go for depends on the vivarium as well as the animal. So all myths gone over that I can think of, then I think it's important for me to give this little note before I continue. So with UVB lighting, one of the benefits I'll talk about is that it lets your animal produce its own vitamin D3. So with vitamin D3 being a fat soluble vitamin, this means, pretty simply, I'll put it, that it can build up in the fat, in the animal, like in the liver and stuff. And um, if you have too much of it, then that can actually cause MBD, metabolic bone disease. So if you have UVB lighting, you shouldn't be given synthetic D3 
unless there's some sort of special circumstance where it's needed. So instead you should be using completely non-synthetic um, vitamins and minerals. The ones I would recommend are the two in front of you, Arcadia Earth Pro A and Arcadia Earth Pro Calcium Pro MG, which is magnesium. These two are like the first on the market and in my opinion they're the best. I have actually spoke about these more in the past, I've made a video on it so I'll leave that link in the description. But just to put it simply, if you're going to use UVB lighting, you basically want to use these supplements. So what are the benefits of using UVB lighting? Well, as I may have touched on earlier, it does allow your animal to have a day-night cycle if you have it on a timer, so it turns off at night and it turns on at day. This just simulates how the sun rises in the day and then it uh, sets at night. Uh, I also said this earlier, it lets the animals produce their own D3. Doing this is far safer than giving it in a supplement because we don't actually know how much reptiles need and we don't know for definite a lot of other species to be honest, it's just pure guesswork. But letting them do it naturally, their bodies, they know what they need, they can stop producing it when they don't have to and they can choose to bask when they feel they need it. Uh, it's also been shown to be a very good asset in aiding to prevent metabolic bone disease and some mild cases I have heard of being effectively cured with UVB lighting. Now I'm not saying if your animal has really bad MBD and it can't stand up or something like that, that getting UVB light overnight it's going to be fine because at that point it's probably too far gone. But if there's some slight signs of MBD then UVB lighting definitely can help. Uh, a less talked about benefit of UVB is that in these lights they usually um, give off UVA as well which lets reptiles see better because they can actually see into the UVA spectrum and it's also proven to be an appetite stimulant. So that is about it for this overview on UVB lighting. You may have heard in the last clip, I don't know if you can hear it now, but the rain's just started so that's a bit irritating but anyway uh, just to sum it all up UVB lighting is really worth the money so if you can get it then definitely do so it's worth the effort as well sort of um, researching it and getting to grips with using it honestly it is there's just all sorts of benefits that we don't even know about and can't even see yet uh, yet it is fantastic for your animals and honestly if you keep reptiles UVB lighting at this point in sort of advancement in the hobby it is an absolute must in my opinion. So yeah I hope you did enjoy this video and you found it useful. If you did please leave a like and do consider subscribing to see my other content. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.